Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I'm going to be testing out the new eyeshadow palette release from Kat Von D Beauty. This is the Lolita eyeshadow palette. I am so excited for this palette. I mean, just let's take a second and look at these shades. It's beautiful. I love pinky, purple, kind of this dusty rose mauve kind of color in eyeshadows. So this palette, when I saw it, it called my name and I knew I had to pick it up. Uh, it is, of course, named after Kat Von D's signature lipstick shade, also called Lolita. Um, so I did pick that up because I had never tried that before. So I picked up the studded kiss version of Lolita. So I thought, let's give it a whirl, try out the eyeshadow palette, try out this lipstick that I've never tried before, and um, play with some new makeup. So if that sounds fun, then keep on watching. <laughs> Right, so I'm zoomed in a little bit so we can actually see what's going on with my eye. Uh, I'm going to start with priming my eyes like I do with pretty much every eyeshadow look. I have my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. I'm just gonna take this on a beauty blender. I could use a brush, but I'm lazy and this beauty blender is already slightly dirty, so that's what we're doing. We're saving a step. So now that my eyes are nice and primed, I can't decide if I want to go in with the color um, Primrosa or Besitos. Uh, I kind of think I want to go to Besitos, which is a little bit of a darker pink, and then use this one as like a highlight shade. So I'm going to take Besitos, and I'm going to use a Morphe M433 brush, and like pretty much every eyeshadow look, <laughs> I'm just going to start by stamping this on my brow bone and into the crease. This is a lot more purple than I thought it would be. I really thought it was a lot pinker in the pan. Coming, off of my, coming on the eye, it looks very purple, but I kind of really like it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm now gonna go into the signature shade with a slightly more pointed blending brush. This is the Morphe 441, and I'm going to go into the shade Lolita. And I'm going to basically keep the same shape that I have going with the Besitos shade, but I'm just going to keep it a little bit lower and really focus this on in the crease. So I'm just taking this shade and placing it in my crease and then starting to blend slightly. And I'm going to take this pretty much all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner of the eye. So that blended really nicely. I'm going to go back in with the original brush that I used for Besitos, but I'm not gonna add any extra color to the brush. I'm just gonna go with whatever is residual and just kind of blend out the edges, blending together the Lolita and the Besitos shade. That is actually really pretty. I love that Lolita shade. I think it added a nice warmth to this eye look that it was kind of missing a little bit before. So I'm going to stick kind of with a similar shade. I'm going to go into Con Amor, and I'm going to take this on a much more pointed... I dropped it, but I caught it in the crook of my arm. <laughs> ...pointed pencil brush and really focusing this just on the outer crease. It's not gonna be my actual like outer V deepening shade, but I'm just kind of building up shades of darker and darker colors more and more slowly. Okay, so I actually really do like how this is turning out. I'm loving these colors. I think they're blending really, really nicely. So I am now going to go into the darkest shade of the palette called Eterno. Eterno, 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 whatever. I'm going to go into the darkest shade of the palette, which is this dark plum shade. And this, of course, I'm going to use to smoke out that outer corner. I'm using a very small little pointed blending brush. And just, yeah, just really focus this on the outer V and in the outer edge of the eye, just to really add a little bit extra depth. Just tapping this on first before I start blending it. It is 
quite powdery in the pan. Actually, all of these shades are, but you know, that doesn't really bother me too much. I'm having a little bit of patchiness with this color, if you can tell how it's a little bit darker here on the bottom as it is here when it gets to actually on the lid, which I don't exactly understand considering they're both over other shadows. I've layered a lot in this outer corner. I don't know why it's not. It just doesn't seem to be adhering as well on the actual lid as it does in the crease. Hmm. I don't know. It's coming out a little bit darker than I would have liked, so I'm actually going to go back in with the Cone Adamore shade and just use this to kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay, I like that a lot better. Yes, it's not as intense as it was before, but I, I think it just looks a little bit nicer rather than the patchiness. Now that I have the fade like I kind of want. I'm going to take a, though this is very dirty because <laughs> I was swatching a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up the shape of the eye. It's looking pretty good. I'm really enjoying this. So I'm going to go into the lightest shade, Premrosa. I'm going to pack the shade on pretty heavily with this brush and then I'm going to go in and start packing this on the inner portion of the eye. This is a tip I love to do if I'm doing like an all matte kind of brown eye, but I really, really like using the lightest cream shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for this. So hopefully this will work the same way. I've never actually used a Kat Von D eyeshadow before. Um, we all know that the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette is one of my, my favorites for contouring. If you haven't checked out my yearly favorites video, I'll link it above and down below. I am going to now go back into the Lolita shade and kind of blend the transition between the very light shade and the very dark shade and as well as just clean up the crease a little bit. So I'm just gonna pat this between these two and kind of wiggle it back and forth. take a little bit of besitos as well just a little bit just add a little extra color in here I do really like this I think it's looking good so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and then I'll be back to do the lower lash line and give my final thoughts in the meantime while I'm doing that let's take a closer look at the eyeshadow palette itself it features eight rosy matte shades, including fan favorite Lolita, plus unique yet universally flattering variations on the original Chestnut Rose. Each velvety powder is blendable and buildable in Kat Von D's signature high pigment formula for looks that are as unforgettable as the shade itself. In the palette, we have the shades Promesa, a pale pink, Besitos, a dusty rose, Recuerdos, a raisin, Hermosura, rose, Con Amor, Terracotta Rose, Lolita, Chestnut Rose, Corazon, Plum, y Eterno, an eggplant. So I really want to use this like bright purple shade called Corazon. So I'm gonna use that same pointed pencil brush that I used with Con Amor, and I'm gonna start stamping this onto my lower lash line. Okay, that brush is too big. It's not working. Let's find a smaller brush. <laughs> I'm going to take a flat brush, but it's the one that's a little bit fluffier, if that makes sense. And I'm going to use this to try to smoke out my lower lash line with that cortisone purple color. Okay, that's, there's fallout. There's a lot of fallout. I am going to go in with some powder. Try that again. <laughs> Third time's a charm, let's hope. I am tapping off my brush though, so I don't know why there's like fallout. I 
Okay, I am now gonna brush off this powder. And I'm gonna blend out the lower lash line, which is a little bit of Lolita mixed with Besitos. Okay, I really like this. I think this palette is beautiful. It blended gorgeous. I love it, and I do love an all matte eye. So this being an all matte palette is like right in my wheelhouse. But I have something that I want to share. So I did this trick last week just on a day I wasn't filming and I just kind of like decided, oh, I think I want to do something. I did an all matte eye, it had a lot of purple in it, and I was like, oh, I wonder if maybe this highlighter could, uh, could work. <laughs> So I'm gonna do something a little bit maybe controversial with the Kat Von D palette. I am going to throw on my Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Highlighter. So if these two guys can't be friends in real life, at least they're gonna be friends on my eyes. <laughs> so this is the Hypothermia shade of the Supreme Frost. It's beautiful, I am wearing it as one of my highlighters. I'm also using a Fenty highlighter, yes I know. I layer highlighters like nobody's business. Where is the, there we go. I am wearing Hypothermia as kind of a topper for my highlighter and I love this one. It is so beautiful and reflective. So I'm gonna take this as my inner corner highlight. Yeah, you heard me. I think the slight purpley brown tones in this highlighter is really gonna complement this eyeshadow look. Just look at that, look how reflective it is. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't go without an inner corner highlight. I really can't. And take it on my brow bone too. Because uh, why not? So this is the eye look with an all matte with just a little sparkle at the inner corner highlight and on the brow bone. I, I still think it's beautiful. I would wear this all day, every day. I'm super into this look. But I just wanna share a little trick that I tried last week and I loved. I thought the effect was beautiful. So I'm gonna do it. Take a good look. This is the eye look all matte, just using the shades from the Lolita palette. But I'm gonna take a little bit of this and use it on my finger. And the reason I love Supreme Frost highlighters, they made it in my annual favorites, is because they don't really have a lot of pigment to them. They're more just like sparkle with kind of a clear base. It's very similar to like the Fenty Gloss, not Gloss Balm, the Fenty um, How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. That's it, Diamond Balm Highlighter. These are very similar. So now I'm gonna take this on my finger and I'm just gonna pat this on the eye for just the tiniest little bit of sparkle, just a little bit, just the tiniest bit. It's so pretty. So here's with a little bit of sparkle. Here's the eye look matte. I think they both look really nice. I think the sparkle just adds a little bit of extra, I don't know, fun, dimension, something different. <laughs> if you don't like it, feel free, let me know. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the all matte look or do you like it with a little bit of highlighter on it? Last but certainly not least, oh, well, let me put on some mascara. I'm gonna throw on my Better Than Sex mascara really quickly. This is just a little mini travel size that is happens to be here. <laughs> um, yeah, other mascaras are upstairs, but you know, whatevs. So I'm just gonna throw this on really quickly and I'll be right back to try on the lipstick and give you my final thoughts. So this is the finished eye look. I think it turned out really, really well. I think it's beautiful, I love it. Um, but I am gonna finish up the rest of my look by going in with the Lolita lipstick. So this is the Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick. Now, I own a couple of these, but Mm, sound like a broken record here, I've never used them. <laughs> this is the rosy chestnut shade that's supposed to match the Lolita shade in the palette. It's supposed to match, it's the Lolita palette. Let's use the Lolita lipstick. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. It's a really good formula, I love the color. Uh, it's a little bit pinker than the eye look, but I, it does complement. I think if I had maybe not used quite as many of the purple tones in this palette, I think it could it would match even better. But I still think it, it all goes together. It's in the same family, and I like it. I really, really like it. Hmm, hmm, okay. 
Okay, this might be a go-to shade. This might be my new go-to shade. And this might be my new go-to palette. So what are my final thoughts on the Lolita eyeshadow palette? So overall, you know I love the theme. I love the color story. I love that it's kind of based off the classic, you know, kind of cult favorite lipstick that they have now inferred that and made this whole palette that of matching shades. These are my type of shades. So obviously I am drawn to this, but I think it's really beautiful. And I think these colors would really work on a lot of different skin tones. I think anyone could wear this. Um, you could take it really, really dark. Like this is a very dark shade to a very light kind of natural shade. So I think there's a lot of variety and I can do a lot of different looks in here. So I kind of the downsides of this palette. Some people probably won't like that it's all matte. I think they'll like a little shimmer, but I have so many highlighters. I have so many other palettes with a little bit of sparkle. I don't think it's a problem just if I want a little sparkle to add a little bit like today. This is the highlighter that I was using put it on my face, put it on my eye. It's kind of, you know, it's just taking one step and using it in different places. I don't have a problem with that. I like it. And I love a good all matte eye. I just didn't do it today because I wanted to share with you guys like this new little technique that I had tried out. But I love a good all matte eye. It's kind of, it was my go-to everyday look for a long time. I think this could be kind of my go-to everyday. Like these are my kind of neutrals. Like, yes, I love a good brown smoky eye, but these are my kind of neutrals. <laughs> But it is beautiful. I think it'd be great for school, for work, or you can, you know, if you want, if you're not like me that wears like dramatic smoky eyes all times of the day or night, you can go really light look. You can also deepen it up and go really smoky and dark. And so you can kind of go for transition from light to dark, from day to night. I think it's really a versatile palette in that way. Um, the only thing that's kind of the drawback, it is $39 for only eight shades, which is kind of pricey to be completely honest. Eight shades for $39. Uh, that's a lot. That would kind of be my drawback. Maybe wait until it's on sale um, because I would pick this up. Like I definitely would recommend it just for that price. It just seems a little bit high. The other drawback that I have is that the shades are quite powdery and kind of dusty. I don't necessarily mind if there's a lot of kick up in the palette. Um, that just means that it is more pigmented and I, I like that. I like a color that's kind of like bam in your face like on my eye, <laughs> not just in your face, but on my eye. I like something that comes in very pigmented and dark right off the bat, and then I can blend it out and work with it a little bit later. I would rather do my blending after the pigmentation as opposed to blending to get the pigmentation, if that makes sense. The only shade I really had difficulty working with was this darkest, darkest shade, Eterno. Um, this one I just felt was a little bit patchy and it never really got the full opacity that I like from a super dark, rich shade. Maybe it's just coming from the fact that it's the darkest and it's kind of a purple shade, and I know purples are supposed to be difficult to formulate or to work with or whatever. Um, but I, ha I do have dark purples that I think work a little bit better than this. This one just was ever so slightly patchy. Once I blended it out with, I think it was Con Amor, it was a little bit better, but you could still see a little bit of the patchiness there. Yeah, I like this palette a lot. I think this will be, and it's so small and compact. I think, not that I have any trips planned, but if I was traveling, I would definitely take this palette with me in my makeup bag. It'll be my go-to. I think this is gonna stay like out in my bathroom, on my vanity easy to grab that I can use it on a daily basis. So that is everything I have to say about the new Kat Von D Lolita eyeshadow palette. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked it so I can keep doing videos like this in the future. And if you have not yet subscribed, I mean, now's your chance. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Thank you so much again. I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are. I love you all so much. <laughs> Bye.